tutorial, I'll be going over a tribute to David Bowie and the Ziggy Stardust. Unfortunately, I found out this morning that David Bowie did pass away last night, so I thought that it would be a really nice thing to do a tribute look to him. Also, a fun fact about David Bowie, although I have two different color contacts in, he didn't actually have two different color eyes, he had two different size pupils, which made it seem like his eyes were two different colors. And obviously, I cannot change the size of my pupils. All the products that you say will be listed somewhere around the video. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, feel free to contact me. Start off by priming your face. You're already halfway there because my face gets so pink. Apply your regular foundation and be sure to powder that. I'm then applying eye primer and for once I'm using a MAC Paint Pot, which I've never used before. Because it's so shimmery at the brow bone, I'm gonna go ahead and apply Becca Highlighter to my brow bone and then go over that with Makeup Geeks White. I'm then applying a pink shade by Urban Decay to my lid, crease, and a little bit underneath my eye. Little bit of Lexorcist. And I'm also lining my eyes underneath my lash line, as well as filling in my waterline using a light shade since his eyes are more round than mine. And of course, apply mascara. I just recently got the big blush book from Tarte. I'll put a link in the description. It has so many different blush colors in it and it's perfect for this look. But just in case you wanna get them separately, I'm first applying Captivating all over my entire face. I'm then going in and contouring certain areas using the color Fearless. Contour heavily underneath your cheekbones as well as in your temples and on your nose. And this entire time, I'm just gradually getting darker with the pink shades. After that, I'm then going in with the color Natural Beauty, which is quite bright for being natural beauty. Also remembering to add this color on my chin. This entire look is pretty reflective, but I'm going in on my cheekbones and my nose using Illuminated by Urban Decay. I also applied a darker pink lipstick for you guys can go with a nude and applied that shimmer on top of the lipstick as well. To create the bolt, I first went in using an angled brush and orange red body paint. When doing things like this and trying to get as straight of lines as possible, it is best to do little dashes and then basically connect the dots. After that, I'm going in with a light blue just on one side and then separating the two using black body paint. The bolt has like a gold shimmer reflecting on the album cover, so I also wanted to add that in there as well using a Becca highlighter. For my neck and chest, I went ahead with a lighter foundation, pretty much matches my skin once it's blended out, and applied a light pink blush on my neck as well as around my collarbone. To create the drop that's on his collarbone on the album cover, I first went in using white body paint. I then went ahead and shaded the outer edges of it using a brown eyeshadow, but also went back in with an orange body paint just because I thought it was too brown, and used gray eyeshadow to create a shadow underneath the drop. And you can then go back in and highlight that using white body paint. 